couldn't fall asleep again And overthinking all the little things I said I'm sleep deprived almost every night And I wish that I wouldn't think instead I know the sun is up and I got things to do But I don't think I've got the energy to move And I go back to the dreams again But I shouldn't be sleeping when it's too Today's breakfast is Greek yogurt with berries, iced coffee, clementine, and a manju. I just realized I forgot to add cacao nibs to my yogurt, so I'm gonna add that in right now. Cacao nibs add such a nice little crunch to it. I'm going to eat one manju. Isn't this so cute? I have to keep this frozen, so I just let it sit for about five minutes. I think it has bean paste inside. Mm. Next, I'm gonna eat a clementine. I literally bought these two big bags of clementines to stocking up for winter. lunch today, we have curry udon with a side of my mom's homemade kimchi that she sent me. I used to eat curry udon all the time in Korea, so I thought I'd make it today. It's a very simple dish to make. Lazy Sunday mornings hiding under cover I don't mind staying in with you Play your favorite movie Laying right beside me I don't mind when it's just us two The corner coffee shop we like to go Wow, look at all this milk <laughs> Myeokguk is one of my favorite Korean dishes. It's really healthy. People typically eat this on their birthday and mothers usually eat this after they give birth because it has a lot of nutritional health benefits. Mm. My mom also sent me ojingo um, as a side dish. She made it in mara sauce, so it's mara ojingo. It's really good. And I also have her kimchi on the side as well. eat two clementines to end the night. This is my third and fourth of the day. Mm. So sweet.
Okay, let me introduce you guys to today's video sponsor, Lifesum. Lifesum is a nutrition-based app that helps people stay on top of their health goals, whether it's weight loss or weight gain or just maintaining your weight. It helps you reach a healthy and balanced lifestyle. If you guys have been following me from my career vlogs, you guys probably know that I've been on a weight gain journey. So I've been using Lifesum to help me reach my goals. I love the user interface of this app. If you don't have this app already, you can download it using the link down below. And there's a free version and there's also a premium version. I'm currently using the premium version and I have a special 50% off discount for you guys so it'll be just a little bit over $4 per month to use the premium features. What's great about it is that it has a barcode scanner so you're able to just scan any items in the grocery store and you're able to easily just save it into the app. Here's the meal plan page which offers so many different meal plans that you can stick to whether it's vegan, keto, paleo, or protein. And here's the recipe link page. Now that I'm living in LA and I'm on this whole cooking journey, I've been just loving scrolling through Life Sum's recipes. For lunch right now, I'm about to make tubu kimchi. If you are somebody who wants to keep accountable with your health goals, whether it's weight loss or weight gain or just maintaining your current weight, try out LifeSum because it'll help you to reach a healthy and balanced lifestyle. Make sure to click the links down below to check out LifeSum and there's also a 50% off discount for you guys. <laughs> Here is today's very simple lunch. This is tofu kimchi. So you get some kimchi, add it to a tofu slice. Not only does Life Sum's recipe bank show the ingredients and the instructions, but it also shows the nutritional information of the dish. So you're able to track your calorie intake and count your macros. As a snack, I'm gonna eat hot dog. I thought I could just air fry this, but apparently I need to either cook it on a frying pan or put it in the microwave. So I think I'll just use a frying pan. Let's try this one. I feel like it has a lot of brown sugar in it. This actually looks and smells a lot better than I imagined it to be. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to try. Oh my gosh, this tastes fantastic. Uttok is a popular Korean street food and we generally eat it in the winter time. For dinner today, I decided to pick up Shake Shack. I got the single Shack burger and I got the crinkle cut fries. I didn't really feel like making dinner today, so I just decided to pick up some Shake Shack. Oh, it tastes so good. I haven't had Shake Shack since I was in Korea. Mmm. I rarely drink soda, so whenever I do, it's just so good. Comment down below your favorite french fry. I like McDonald's french fries the best and Chick-fil-A's waffle fries. Shake Shack's crinkle coat fries are pretty good too. in and outs fries are just very dry. I've never tried their animal fries though, so... Mm -hmm. I want to eat hobakjuk for breakfast tomorrow. So I'm just going to prepare it right now before I go to bed so I can just easily just grind it up tomorrow morning.
am finally done and now I'm just gonna wrap this and put this in the fridge. I'm just gonna put in the blender tomorrow and make pumpkin soup. This is a lot more than I expected. I don't know what is it exactly in this time of year that makes the melancholy me reappear. Back and forth through dark rose coffee, salt mist and sea, sand and amber trees. Cause it still feels like summer. Today's breakfast is pumpkin soup. Mm. Oh my gosh, this tastes like a pumpkin pie. <laughs> mm. This feels so good because it's kind of chilly in LA. I saw a pumpkin pie at Whole Foods the other day and I was so tempted to get it but I knew I couldn't finish a whole pumpkin pie by myself so I didn't get it but this literally tastes like a pumpkin pie. Mm. Okay, so for lunch today, we have bifuyu nabe. I don't think I pronounced that correctly, but um, yeah, it's similar to shabu shabu. You just take this and you dip it in the sauce I made earlier. eat a banjo while I do some work. because I don't think I could finish a whole one. I also added in the oolong soup packet, so I'm sure it'll taste even better. Finishing off the night with a clementine and 
Popcorners. <laughs> Today's breakfast is yogurt and berries, iced coffee, and a clementine. Alright you guys, final stretch of this nabe. Honestly, I'm kind of over it now, but um, I don't want to waste it, so I'm just going to finish it off for lunch today. When you're not here, the sun don't shine. When you're not near, I don't feel like I do when you're When I decided to make you mine, I'm never going back. I know that's a fact, but how do I know if it's love that I'm speaking of? This is love if I'm making you breakfast. This is love if I feel myself coming down. Tonight's dinner is rice paper bandu. I stuffed it with kimchi and tofu and chives. I actually just saw somebody make this on Instagram Reels, so I thought I'd make it since I have all the ingredients. Kimchi bandu is my favorite. Manju time and my clementine. <laughs> if you guys haven't tried manju, you have to try it. It's so good. Mm. There's also another manju type in Korea that's like filled with custard cream. I think that one is also really good, but I do like this one too. Today's breakfast is pumpkin soup, my matcha latte, and some fruit. Breakfast is my favorite meal of the day.
today's lunch is jajangmyeon with some of my mom's homemade kimchi. This is called yolmu kimchi. Tonight's dinner is jajang pap. I kind of like jajang pap more than jajang myeon. It's hot dog time! I'm gonna be in Korea in a month and I can't wait to go back to those Korean traditional markets and eat their hot dog. Alrighty guys, I'm gonna end the vlog here as I finish this. Um, I freshly squeezed clementine juice. Happy New Year and make sure to stay safe and stay healthy. Make sure to drink and eat your vitamin C. I'm excited to spend 2023 with you guys. Cheers!